Hi guys, Timmy here from Timmy Talks and today I have such a special meal day. I know I say that more often, but you probably know when I show my face, you, you know it's gonna be something special. I think the last time I did that was when I ordered a summer magic card. Uh, look at this, post by the man Anson Maddox himself. There is a beautiful artist proof in here and you know, I'm just so looking forward uh, to this. Um, all I can say is uh, if you're into artist proofs, if you're into old school, and I guess you are if you're, uh, you know, watching my channel, watching this video, I can really recommend going to the website of Anson Maddox and, uh, you know, check it out, see what he's got. If you like it, you, you can get it. Um, he's very relaxed and easygoing in the communication. His wife, Brenda, uh, does the emailing. Uh, she's fantastic. If you ever have a question, they respond very quickly. They're just, they're just nice, honest, you know, people. And of course, Anson is an epic artist and all that he's done for Magic the Gathering. So I can really recommend his website. And if you, if you enjoy his art and if you want to have an Anson Maddox artist proof with some cool art on the background uh, of the card, then I would definitely recommend going there. Okay. So that's, that's just my shameless plug because I think Ensomatics is great. I'm now gonna open up this envelope, so come join me in today's Timmy Talks Mail Day. Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And of course, we open up old school magic cards. And as you just saw in the introduction, I'm super hyped for this. I mean, this is Ansonetics. This is an artist proof by Ansonetics. It is, I'm gonna give you some hints. It's a very playable card. It has not been reprinted. It is an artist proof. And of course, I asked them to put some art on the back. So this is, yeah, this is pretty special. Uh, I'm gonna try to open it up. Let's see how far I can get. Yeah, I need, I need scissors here, definitely. Oh wait, I can do, wait, I can do it like this. I want to try to challenge myself. Wow. So again, that's something I just, I gotta get a scissors. I have to, I don't want to damage anything. So we're gonna dive in here. He packs his stuff really, really, really good. I've ordered from him before. Um, so I can actually, you know what? I'll, I'll just, I'll put all that stuff in the descriptions. If you want to see more, uh, other, the other orders that I got from Anson, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, you can just check out the other mail day videos. Here we go. Oh man. This is always like, I'm always a little bit worried to damage something. We're going to go in here with the scissors. We're going to... Okay, okay. There we look at this. We got a little notes. I know I said it in the intro. I'm going to say it again. If you like old school stuff, if you like Irish proofs, order from this man. Really, really, really. Anson and Brenda are just the kindest people. Here it says, as always, it's been a pleasure working with you. Thank you. Well, actually, I didn't do a lot of work, but... You're very, very welcome, uh, and you deserve it as well. I think if you've had such a big and positive impact on the game of Magic the Gathering, you deserve to make uh, an income out of it, and I, I think your prices are very, very affordable. If you look at how rare the cards are that you can actually order, I mean, how many artist proofs are there? And this is your chance to get one from the one of the original 25 artists. Let's just have a look here at the rest. Okay, I'm gonna put this aside. In here, this is where it's at. And here we've got a lovely folder. I'm not gonna show everything because there's some, uh, I guess, X-rated stuff on here, perhaps some of his art. So let me just check. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. But it's cool, right? It's got some information. Again, you can find this on his website as well. What are the prices for commission artwork on an artist proof? So when he makes art like this and you can see the different prices. Again, all of this can be found on his um, website and I'll link to that in the description below. And you can actually see it here too, ansonmedox.com. So you can find all that. Beautiful, look at this, that merfolk art. That is cool. 
Okay, I'm gonna set this aside because I wanna show you the card. That is what it's all about. It is just one card. I restrained myself and I'm gonna open it up. Here we go. Look at this. Turn it around so if you see this, you probably already have an idea of what the card is, right? So this is an artist proof. Take it Ooh, out of here. Look at this art. It is so beautiful. Look at the colors. And I mean, you can recognize the card, right? So I'm just gonna flip it for you so you can see it. So this is an artist proof of transmute artifact. It's so it's so useful if you're building like a toolbox deck. Uh, I love using this also in combination with, for example, a Mana Vault or with a Suchi. Um, so Transmute Artifact is too blue to cast for a sorcery. And it reads, search through your library for one artifact and immediately place it in play. Also choose any artifact in play that you control and place it in its owner's graveyard. If the new artifact has a casting cost greater than that of the discarded one, you must pay the difference of or transmit artifact fails and both artifacts are discarded. Shuffle your library after playing this card. So I think this card also works really well with Triskelion, right? You get the counters off, then you play a transmute over the trike. The trike goes into your graveyard. You get to look up a new trike. And the cool thing is if you play this, a lot of people play it with animate dead. You also have a nice animate dead target in your graveyard. So it's like a win-win situation. I love the fact that tran transmute artifact doesn't remove the card from the game. You know, that is that is what makes it so special. I'm not sure though if I'm gonna actually play with this beauty because it's, ju it's just too beautiful. I'm just gonna turn it around again and show you the art. Absolutely stunning. Thank you so much, Anson. Also, thank you guys for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And um, let me know, do you own any artist proofs? Do you have a plan to maybe order any artist proofs? I'm curious to hear, I'm sure I'm not the only crazy guy. I actually know I'm not the only cra crazy guy because there are, are entire groups dedicated to artist proof cards. But anyway, I would love to hear from you and let me know what kind of artist proof collections you guys have. And yeah, and if you don't, what kind of card you would love to have an artist proof off. And if you would um, get it with art on the back or if you wanna have a clean blank copy, would love to hear from you. Anyway, thank you for watching another video right here on Timmy Talks and see you next time. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Somebody can see.